previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Great, Casper. 87%. Perfect way to start this fight. I have a report. Oh, for fuck! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Shut up, guys! And now back to Garrick Mock Monastery. Now, my students, I'm afraid this is going to be the final class. What? What do you mean, Professor? Now the war's begun. We don't have time for any more lessons or hilarious one-offs. We have to put all that aside and do battle with our enemy, whoever the fuck they are. But I still have so much to learn, Professor. Yeah, you can't abandon us now. I'm not abandoning you all, all right? You all have learned more than enough to survive in this horrible world of ours. Now you just have to go out and use those skills to destroy the enemy that's knocking on our front door. I will be there fighting alongside you all. Slaying our enemies and curb stopping any fools who dare step on our fucking turf. And now each of you is going to use the skills that you've learned in this class out there. Kameda with your bagel guns. Uji with your turkey blades. Kuzuru with her Jabberwock style. Me with whatever weird kinky invention she made. Yes, yeah, dude, she's lazy out, baby. Ah, of course it is. Professor, professor, what about me? Moshiriga, you're going to be on the front lines, all right? Because more than likely, you're going to be the first one to die. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, can I finally go and use the bathroom yet? Of course not, Moshiriga, all right? The war has just begun. No use in the bathroom until the war is over. <sighs> Son of a bitch. All right, guys. It's been a pleasure teaching you all. Now, let's go get those motherfuckers. Class of voices, assemble! Yeah. Hello! Sneaky B. Back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. When we last left off, holy mother of time skips. We had a time skip. <laughs> and it skipped four or five years in the future. I didn't change at all. I didn't look any different. I slept through the whole five years. Woke up and Demetrius got an eye patch. The dude's fucking dead. And everybody else is hotter. Like, what the shit's going on? God damn it. Except for Mercedes. She got less hot. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck? Oh, uh, but apparently this is like, this is like a big point. A lot, a lot of you guys were waiting for it. I was like, I was sort of expecting like something to go down because it seemed like everybody was anticipating when I got to the end of part one. And I was like, what the fuck's going to happen? Is someone going to, is Demetri going to get his head cut off or some horrible shit or something? And then it just sort of ended with, I mean, the Ray had turned to a dragon. I'm like, was that it? And then I fall off a mountain. I'm like, was that it? And then it just ends. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay. Well, it's like, I guess that was pretty crazy. Was that really like, like for people to get so fucking hyped about no that's like oh five years later oh 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 <laughs> and now everybody's different like good lord look at all look at everyone looks different oh my god it's so crazy except for flame of course and Seth and all the teachers but oh my god and apparently this is like something that was actually spoiled uh incredibly in the uh publicity for this game <laughs> but this is not something that was uh was kept in the down low by nintendo they were like fuck it who gives a shit yeah everybody can know that which i gotta say what is up with nintendo and their fucking like their spoilers and their like displaying and advertising of games that they've created like why why do they do that one of my mods said it was done likely to help advertise the game or it's like like it was a selling point or something but like man that like that destroys a lot of the mystery. Apparently, oh, actually it was poured out. Apparently, I actually saw this. I actually saw Time Skip Dimitri in the old, uh, the TGS trailer. I, wait, was it TGS? I don't know. It was, a, it was a trailer. No, no, it was E3. It was back in E3, which was back in June, I think. Um, I, uh, cause I, I had reacted to, uh, E3 this year and on a live stream. So I actually saw time skip Dimitri during that trailer apparently but I and apparently I laughed when he came up I don't know maybe I thought I, I probably saw him just like, like ah, he looks like a pirate <laughs> I don't know or edgy or I don't know what the fuck I thought but I, it's funny because I don't remember it um like, like I, I I said before I did see that trailer I remember seeing it but the only thing I remember from it is Arc System Works graphics <laughs> that's all I remember I remember the cutscenes looking like Dragon Ball Fighters, and that's it. I didn't like retain any of it because I was like, I wasn't playing to play it. I was, I just saw, I was like, ah, look at all these characters. I don't know. Okay, on to the next thing. Everyone else is super pumped and excited in the chat, and I'm just like, lu 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 lu, because I'm never gonna play. I'm never gonna play it. I'm gonna miss out on how fucking amazing this game is. Lu 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 lu. Wrong, wrong, past Nico. <laughs> Although it's probably good because otherwise I, I would have probably been spoiled like everybody else was. So I'm glad I missed that. I'm glad I didn't keep up with this game at all because it made that shit. 
They made that shit fucking exciting for me, okay? God damn, this, this is crazy to me. But yeah, so now we have flashed forward in the future. We're on a part two, and I've got eight bajillion supports unlocked. Eight bajillion supports. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to handle this, honestly. It's actually... It's like so many supports that might take the entire episode. I don't know. We're, I want to look around the, the monastery, though, some before I, I get into like the big the big meat of it. I mean, I'm going to have to anyway, because some of them are not or will only be locked after I fast traveled. So which will actually make me wonder then what will happen when I like I think some of these overlap with each other, right? I can't imagine I'm going to fast travel and they're all going to show up on the map. I imagine it's going to be like you do it and unlock a few and then then go and interact with them and then fast travel again i don't know we'll see um but anyway last episode uh nathaniel dardar said <laughs> dimitri becomes a high lord to do i told you not to eat the damn weeds <laughs> oh my god last episode was a fucking horror one to pick a, a comment of the day because there were so many good ones yet again but i had to give it to nathaniel dardar <laughs> it was a weed joke but also pulling on the in-game lore all right and that was the last thing to do ever said to dimitri <laughs> before he died a painful fucking death. God damn it, I'm so fucking pissed about that. <sighs> I don't understand still. It's my tank, man. I don't think anyone could kill my tank. But anyway, Nathaniel, thank you for your hilarious comments. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. God, that one was actually really popular with you guys too. Got like a thousand likes, which I'm not surprised. I thought it was pretty fucking hilarious too. But like I said, there were a ton of funny ones last episode. Oh yeah, some of you were saying apparently Mercedes cut her hair to escape cursed anime mom. Oh, is that like, is that the kind of hair that moms that tend to die in the anime or something i haven't seen enough anime to know that one or at least not enough of anime with moms with long hair oh yes you guys did also tell me uh, apparently some new uh uh lore has been added for everybody i can actually see what each person has done in the past few years by checking out their bio now uh which i'm actually curious, curious so does it say anything new for me oh it does <laughs> yay i've got one new thing Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Two new things. I guess I got rid of my old one. Goes missing during the Battle of Garrick Mach. Regains consciousness at the bottom of the valley, then appears in Garrick Mach. Ah, what, what delightful lore I had in these past five years. All right. What about everybody else? Oh, it does. That's so cool. I love that. So it doesn't even show what their old stuff is anymore. It's just completely replaced. All right. Let's, let's go through this then. Uh, 1181. Escapes the coup of Ferdiad and becomes a vagrant. Uh, 1182. Begins murdering Imperial Guards slash soldiers controlling former kingdom territories. 1185, pursues Imperial troops and end up at Garrick Mach. Interesting. Oh, man. But he's... It, I was surprised that did, or Dimitri just ended up by himself. I guess he just kind of pushed everybody away. I wonder, did it change any of his, like, likes and dislikes? No, it didn't seem to. At least not for him. Felix, uh, 1181, returns to his home territory and throws himself into the battle against the dukedom. Uh, 1185, re remembers the promise to me five year, years ago and returns to Garrick Mach. I'm going to admit that, yeah, it's going to be like most of these guys. Ash, uh, 1181, returns to his hometown to serve... House Row. Okay, we're, we're actually see this. This is why he's gonna belong because everybody's going home after this. Uh, 1182 steps down from his post when House Row becomes a vassal of the Empire. 1185. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 1181 returns to his home territory and throws himself into the battle against the Dukedom. Okay. So like Felix. Yeah. So and that, that's right. And his House Gautier and as well as actually I don't think it was House Fraud. I think it was House Gloucester, or maybe it was Fraudius that went that was uh, uh battling against. Yeah, the new dukedom, right? The the lady, the the lady that took control of the Ferdiad, the Cornelia lady, or whatever. Like House got House Gautier and House, uh, I guess Fraldius were like battling with her to to reclaim it. Um, eleven eighty one returns home to the kingdom capital and joins the merchant business. Merchant, really? So he cut your hair? Interesting. My merchant. She mentioned any of that in her her supports. Oh, uh, status. Ad wait. Adopted daughter of a merchant from Ferdiad. See, she is an adopted daughter of a merchant, so I guess she's just like following in that business then. Actually, I think that was what she's saying she didn't want to do, right? Wasn't the thing that she actually wanted to do was uh, become like a priest or something, I think? But she was like, I can't do that because um, I think women can't become priests, maybe? Is that is that right? I, I don't I don't remember. It's been so long since her last support. Oh, you know something that was really cool that I, I wasn't aware of that only came, I only realized recently? Um, you can actually go back and see every single uh person's supports in the main menu of the game that's fucking awesome anyone that you've unlocked up to this point and the supports you've seen you can go back and re-watch them again that is fucking cool i love that so if i ever need to i can always get a refresher annette i actually really like uh, annette's new hair here i wish she kind of put her heart her hair back she's got kind of far horror forehead now but uh i don't know it just looks looks good uh 
1181 goes to live with her uncle, Baron Dominic, to help him with official business. Ingrid goes back to her home territory and helps her father with official business. Really? That's it? That's all we're saying here? I'll probably get more. I'll get more detail on their supports. Still kind of like, <laughs> with what official business? 1181 cuts ties with House, House Burgalese and throws himself into battling the Empire. Oh, now that's something. That's actually interesting. <gasps> that's interesting, actually, though. I bet. I fucking bet this would not happen if i hadn't recruited him right well like, like, like for example in the black eagles route right you're already gonna have casper he's gonna be part of the group as it is oh that's actually really neat i mean it, it would make sense that they'd have to give a reason why they you know he's joining me and not actually helping the empire um but i'm yeah that's more than likely what it is it probably isn't that he cut cut ties with them he would be helped edelgard take over hoodly doodly and then similarly, if I if I recruited other people while helping the Black Eagles, they probably would be, uh, again, uh, cut ties with whatever their thing and went to go help Elogard. Still, that's a neat detail. Um, 1181 returns her territory and goes into seclusion goes into seclusion oh no uh, 1185 escapes the territory alone remembers the promise made five years ago returns to her territory the territory of varley oh no she's been became a recluse Raphael, 1181 searched for employment as a knight while running a restaurant with his family hmm oh that's interesting did he did he manage to become a knight i don't know uh marianne returns to home to assist her adoptive father with governmental affairs yeah there it feels a lot about Marianne, I still don't really know in, in regards to her and her adoptive father. She brings it up to her. She doesn't, I don't think she's actually brought up her father much in, her, in the sports I've seen so far with her, but she does bring it up when we eat food together. So she's like, she's like, I like this. It reminds me of my father or something. And it's like, which kind of makes me go, mm, I don't know. Uh, Sedith searches for Archbishop Rhea along with the Knights of Saros <laughs> for five years. There's the character Mop Monster and joins the anti imperial forces. Flane does the same. Hanuman does the same. Manuel does the same. Gilbert, after the coup of Ferdia, goes to live with Rodrigue. Go Rodrigue. Appears to get him after finding his liege. Now, is Rodrigue still alive? That's that's Felix's father, I believe. Uh, Lee's the nice to Search for Rhea, uh, Rhea for Aloise. Catherine participates in the search. Shamir. <laughs> it's funny, they all say it. They all basically say the same thing differently. Leads it, participates in it, and searches for it. <laughs> Cyril. Oh, Cyril's alongside. I'm guessing Cyril might have actually uh, trained some more with Shamir here because now he seems to be like aimed at being an archer. <laughs> aimed at it. Ah. And, and Anna gets caught up in the Battle of Air Mock and just le and lays the monster and now she's back. <laughs> wow, great. Your your lore is as riveting as my lore. Still, that is, I really like that. God, look at these. Look at all these fucking supports. So many supports, so little time. Uh, the good news is Gilbert's finally part of my career. Now I can actually... Start getting supports with uh, with other people here, including his daughter, which I'm dying to see. And I guess that, that probably means now that I'm not locked out of uh, supports with people, I I think. I think. Uh, wait. It seems Dimitri's unable to deepen his bonds right now. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I'm actually not surprised. To be honest, that I kind of thought when I, when I ended last episode, I'm like, could I actually bond with Dimitri as, as he is now? Cause he's he's kind of gone off the deep end and the answer is no no we're gonna have to i think help bring dimitri back from the fucking brink for he's gonna be able to to do shit can he even can he bond with anybody oh he can't oh he can't it's not just me nobody will bond with him man i fucking love this game guys this game is the fucking best god damn man it's just like shit like this detail like you know what they could have fucking done like just unlocked it for like everybody else and everybody else is good to go because this is clearly the that the moment they were waiting for right is that flash from the future now oh hey cool now i can pretty much do it with everybody everybody's got their shit um because they just need we just need that change right that five-year change but they didn't do it for dimitri they didn't do it for they they still locked him out and they just say he's unable to deep his bonds right now it's, it's actually a different message than what it was before like you're gonna have to wait a bit right no, this time it's just he's not going to do it. And that's because he is, he severed like his ties with everybody. He, he has become a loner. And I'm just so, like, because it would have been so immersive breaking if I just went in there and Dimitri's back to his old self suddenly, right? I mean, I fucking love this game, guys. This game is amazing. It's just so fucking good. Ah, ah, it's so good. Why is it so good? All right, Hanuman, my man, 
Can we get you to do this? All right. It's been literally five years that we've been waiting for you to do this. You master this one. Just do it. Just do it, you dickhead. Thank you. Your outfit looks a little weird, though. Not going to lie. All right. What do we get? The Ooh. I passed. I am a skull. Yeah, you said after five years of failing it. <laughs> all right. Let me get some, some more speed and shit, too. Um, all right. Was that it? I think it was the only one that... Uh, Oh, wait, we do have Gilbert. He's currently a fucking fortress knight, which <sighs> God damn it, I don't know. If, I don't know if I like these these tank ones. They're just they're so fat and slow and feel kind of shit. Okay, so I can try for that. I can try for a warrior. A warrior. Actually, I might try for that. Let's see if we can do it. Ah, oh, Gilbert, you sad sack of shit. Damn. Shame. Damn it, I failed my daughter again. Yes, you did. And you guys sort of pointing this out, and I kind of noticed it too. Seems like the general stats for like the Fortress Knights and the tanks are just not that good. They just make you so slow. So you're not like getting a whole lot of hits. Yeah, you're you're tanky. You can hit you can take physical damage, but your resistance is low, so ma mages will still wreck you. I don't know. Doesn't seem like they're the the big beefy guys are that great. Unfortunately. So yeah, I can actually tell Cyril, I think, is a bit taller. Just like checking on this picture here. So I remember before, like, it didn't look like he fit in this armor very well, the warrior armor. But now this actually seems to fit him a lot better. Like a little baby in that armor. Um, all right, I think we're good. Dimitri isn't ready for anything yet. Uh, what was I even aiming with for him? T did I have an game here with him? He's actually not ready for any of these. Yeah, it's not really his Lance. But his riding should be pretty high by this point too, I think, right? Oh, his riding is only at B, okay. I'm guessing, uh, so we still seem to have seminars, right? Looking at the calendar. So I'm guessing I'll, uh, yeah. I guess still be doing teaching. We've got some rare monster sightings. Protecting Garrick Mock. Filling a promise made five years ago, your former students gather once more in monastery, as do the knights. However, your joyful reunion is cut short. Cut short after a month of being re reunited. Oh, hey, we got a new paralog. <gasps> oh my God. It's Motherfucking Annette and Daddy Gilbert. Oh, thank God. They get some father-daughter bonding time. Annette and Gilbert hope to acquire the hero's relic of House Dominic from Annette's uncle, Baron Dominic. Oh, sweet. She gets a hero's relic. Yes. Yes. Holy fuck. Level 31. Jesus. All right. Is there actually new stuff at the armory now? Uh, Brave Sword? I, I think this is all the same shit, mostly. I think. Well, actually, could I buy... Actually, I'm not sure if I could buy, buy Brave Weapons before. But now I can, I probably want to. I could buy elixirs now. Interesting how when I, I, I actually bought all the um the master seals, they just disappeared. Normally they they go they just like get blacked out. Which usually means that they're gonna get filled back up later. Can I do I only get like five master seals in like a playthrough? That's actually what I'm kind of nervous about. Like, I'm afraid that, like, next month that's not gonna come back again. At least I, I, I'm pretty sure that's how I remember it happening. All right, I got this. The sicker weapon, the Crest of Gloucester that restores HP every turn. Who has the Crest of Gloucester? Does anyone in my party have that? Is it Mary Ann? No, it's an axe. She would be wielding that. Oh, by the way, you guys, you keep telling me this is pronounced Keyhole, not Sigil. I don't. I was like, I didn't think I did. Gloucester, like, is that, um, Ferdinand's? Maybe? Oh, actually, I wonder, can I see? Oh, no, I can't. I can't scroll over and see what, uh, other people look like in other houses. I could before. I wonder why I could get this axe then if I can't even if there's no one even in my party that can actually use it or at least can make use of the uh, uh the crest all right well let's finally see let's have a look at what Garrick Mock looks like now I'm gonna bet it looks a little uh wrecked it's uh oh my god yep this shit's all over the place but it, it isn't all on the map at once I don't think okay actually before I do anything so I don't forget let's go ahead and change my unit appearances so I think I want to change it for certain people here. Battle. I think I kind of want this to be his default because it just looks so fucking cool, honestly. Damn, Felix, you look really sick too, man. So in battle right now, you have the class one, which I, I, I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of this outfit. I don't think, I don't know if this, this outfit looked okay on Raphael, but even in then it just, just looks fucking weird, especially on, on Felix. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely. Now that everyone's actually got unique outfits and it's not just like generic school uniform, right? I'm guessing everything else is still the same though. Yeah. Ash looking 
super sick with his new archer outfit. Also, the sniper outfit by default actually does look pretty cool, but yeah, no, this one. I like the purple. It's neat. Uh, Sylvain. Damn. Sylvain, your armor looks sick. I like the teal uh, on the on around his waist as well. Looks good. All. Yeah, yeah, that still looks great. This one might maybe slightly match a bit more, but yeah, I like that. Um, Mercedes. Oh, Mercedes, you're the only one who's just, your hair looking short. Ah, oh, unfortunately, this does not change your hair back to being long again. This looks all right too, but yeah, we'll stick with this. I think it still it still looks unique. Annette, I okay. Annette looks. I think Annette might be the best. The combination of the orange and the kind of bluish stuff looks just really good. Um, again, she does look good in in this outfit too. But yeah, uh, Ingrid. Damn, everybody looks so good. Look at this, the green too. Seriously, she looks. She's the spitting I image of Breath of the Wild Zelda. Oh my God, Casper, what the fuck, man? Holy shit, dude. You got cool as fuck. You turn into from like a little little snarky bitch to a badass fucking looking dude. I don't know. You might still be a snarky bitch, but but at least you look cool now. Yeah, you definitely. What, what do you look like? No, no. Yeah, no. This stick. This shit. Damn, man. That armor looks really neat. Ber oh god, Bernie. <laughs> oh god. I I think I liked your little frizzy hair better before. How it looks. She still does. Still looks timid as as ever though. <laughs> And I like your little arrows. Now they're just kind of floating there in the air. It's still kind of cute. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think your first of your hair looked kind of was kind of endearing. This one looks a little more formal for her. Um, does her hair stay the same? It does. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Raphael. Oh man, you look cool too, dude. Damn. You got kind of almost Witcher-looking armor. Yeah, see, this, this looks alright with him. But. Yeah, this I still would stick to this. Um, gotta say, I'm, I'm actually glad they gave me this option. Oh, look at Marianne actually smiling here. Marianne, you look very nice too. Your hairdo is just ever so slightly different. Like you don't have those like two double braids that fall to the side. Oh, I don't know though. Do I want to switch to her default or keep it on the dancer? Because the dancer is so good, right? I think I gotta keep it on the dancer. It just it's. I think we look kind of weird on our other one, but. I do still like it. Said it, you look the same. Flame, you look the same. Hanuman's the same. Yeah, you know what? I'm not really crazy about how Hanuman's wizardly robes look. I mean, they sort of match this other one, but this looks like a little too tight. I actually think I'm going to keep him on his monster. Get up. Uh, Manuela. I actually like yours, so I'm going to keep that. Gilbert. Oh, God, Gilbert. Yeah, this armor just looks fucking weird. This is weird on anybody. But at the same time, it also is a good indicator of just, yeah, tankness. So I'll keep it. If it does look weird. It's funny how their default class, like, for certain characters, like Shamir, Catherine, and also Aloise, like, their default cap classes, right? So, like, his is Warrior. So, his his regular outfit d is based a bit off of the Warrior's one, which I do like. Which is why it's honestly better if they're going to, if, if you're just using their default class, just to stick with their regular outfit, because it just looks... It's just a better version of it. You know, Zero, I gotta say, I do like your outfit, man. <laughs> Clearly, the game wanted me to make you an archer. And not the wyvern rider I ended up making you. You know what, though? I'm staying. I'm it's all right. You're 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 gonna shoot arrows while on your dragon. And Anna looks the complete, complete same. All right, cool. I spent like the first 30 minutes of like just, just looking at everybody. Just looking at people. I haven't done shit. I'm gonna walk out here. Now, Professor. Professor, I got shit to talk to you about. I don't have time for you, Felix. Can I do that for everybody? Just like throughout the now. All right. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go and just get these fucking ready. I'm not gonna do them right now. I just want to get them ready because I just want to talk to people. So we still got people's rooms here. Lindhar's room. Yep. Everybody's room still here. God, we clean everything up. I guess we. Di oh. Oh, there's there's some scaffolding right there. So it's all just the same. <laughs> it's like <laughs> this doesn't seem terribly damaged, despite uh, I think it happened here. We clean up really fast. Svein's already hidden up the ladies. Hey, Professor. It's been a while. It's really good to see you again. You can get it, Professor. You just like know how to come back from the fucking dead, you know? An awful lot has happened in these past five years. There were so many times I wished you were around. I'm glad you're back. Your skills are worth more than a whole army. Thanks, man. Advanced drills? What? <gasps> oh, shit! That's sick! I can teach him even harder! Wait. 
Why does it only have an E rank? Oh no, he's teaching me! <gasps> Nani the fuck, that's so cool! Oh, I, oh my God, so I can get taught by like my students? Oh, this that gives me even more options now. I love it, cool. That's definitely good. Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm not inviting you. Lady Ray, I saw you returned. Professor. Hey, what's up, bitch? Get out of my way, Catherine. Okay, here we go, yeah, see? So we, we got repairs going. But it's still not totally all back yet. <laughs> Although I still, I will say, I, I think this place is in better condition than I thought it would be. Guess these uh, classrooms for all the other cla uh, other houses are not gonna mean shit anymore. Why do we even have these flags up here anymore? Like, seriously. These past five years, many kingdom houses have become vassals of the empire. The major houses of Fraldarius, Gautier, Karen, and my own family, Galatea, remain loyal. But the lords of the minor domains in the west have almost entirely defected. After all the royal family has done for them, they respond with betrayal. And to think they have the gall to call themselves nobles. Hmm. I don't know. They just, yeah, I mean, that does suck, but they they probably also just bent to overwhelm Edelgard's overwhelming force, but right? We still have his highness and you, professor. I'm sure we can take back the kingdom's lands. That's right. I've got a god power inside me. Um, all right, you have pretty much the same as Sylvain, except for flying instead of riding. That's pretty cool, because but now, like, because everybody's no one's a student anymore, right? Everyone's sort of experienced, so it makes sense that they would uh be able to now teach me. I am no longer the teacher, but the teachy. Is that how words work? <laughs> Look at this dog sit on this chair here, talking to this guy. Hello, doggy. Would you like some food, doggy? There you go, bud. It looks happy. Eat. It looks pretty fun. What the hell? He ain't finished. He was done in one thing. I think it was a special doggy because he was staying on top of the, the bench, but apparently not. Yay, we kept the saunas open. Thank God. Okay, we do have a tournament. Good. Help keep morale up. Uh, sword stuff. <laughs> Funny, funnily enough, Marianne is the one with the highest sword here. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> oh, wait, nope. There's me. Right. Me, me, me. Oh, God. Everyone, actually, everyone's motivation is. Yeah, everyone's a yellow. Damn it, guys, come on. I Man, I know it's been five years, but your motivation should be the same it was from five years ago. Don't you remember the, that epic last battle we had? Face off against the Swords of Saros. All right, well, Catherine, go in there and wreck shop. Bitch, you can't even do anything to me, and I killed you in a single hit. Oh, for Lady Rhea, wherever the fuck she is. Yoink! Ah! Boom. All right, last one. Swordmaster. Bitch, you think you're a swordmaster? You don't know shit. Yeah! Dead. Oh, All right. Good job, Catherine. So, so plus. We'll say this, is gonna be, this place is going to be a lot emptier, though, with like two thirds of the students gone. Or probably more like half, since I did end up recruiting a few from the other houses. Less people to talk, have to talk to each month, I guess. During his search for her grace, the Archbishop, Seteth has visited churches all across the land. It served to demonstrate to the devout across Fodlan that the Church of Seros is still going strong. As a result, the faithful are not currently in a state of chaos. And where the hell, like, how would we lose track of Rhea? She's a big fat dragon now. Also, is anyone going to explain that? I, I feel like I'm the only one weirded out by that. No one else is questioning, like, hey, how did she do that? And why? And to what extent? But we're just like, ah, okay, okay. it's fine. I'm thinking. Look at Rhea just turn you a dragon again. Who the fuck are you? The, Alliance, the lords have been at odds. So peace and prosperity have declined there as well. In particular, bandits have been appearing in large numbers near the great bridge of Murden. Murden! Rumor has it that the Domain's Lord, someone by the name of Acheron, is a completely ineffectual leader. Ah. Oh, now the dog is paying homage to the great dog warrior of ages long past. Cool. I wonder if that cat's still here. Give me that venom stone. Eat. Eat eyes full. Daddy is still here? Yep, yeah, still here, son. Still warm in my spot. Where you been the past five years? I don't know, Daddy. Sleep it. Damn it, you always did sleep in too long. Oh, no, Mr. Kitty's moved on. Seriously, I almost feel like that's an inside joke somehow. Like, the, there's a dog at the Greystone over there now, after five years. And in the first the first part, there was a cat here. I feel like this guy has some significance. And oh my god, you see that shadow? What the fuck? Oh god, dead people's shadows. I still see the spirits of those walking among us. Well, that or the physics is just getting kind of weird here. Oh. Hey, uh, what up? It's your boy, Bizzalead. 
Where the fuck is Dimitri anyway? Oh, okay. there's Shamir. I'm more of a mercenary than a knight these days. I work to get paid. Samir's the first time I've ever seen you sit in five years. I never was too attached to Fodlan. I was considering leaving soon. But I might change my mind if you're around. Thanks, Shamir. Give me some of them advanced drills. I'll show you advanced drill right here. Professor. Oh, there's Marianne hanging out with the horsies. As usual. Professor, is there any reason for me to remain here? Girl, you are my star dancer. Of course there is. I'll see you adorable. We all love you. I want to be useful, of course, but I'm not sure anyone needs me. I also like your new do. Why did then why did you stay? No, what the fuck? What is it? I need you here. I really mean that. I will stay and do my best to help. <laughs> what a fucking mean ass thing. God damn it. I'm not so I was blown away by like the, some of the mean shit you can say in these games. I will teach you how to how to heal. Thank you, Marianne. I want to go stay at the spa, though, before I do any of that. Here's the flame is. Nah, I'm good. She's probably eating somebody's fish, you know? Fucking somebody's damn good. <gasps> Gatekeeper, good, you're not dead! Yes, thank God! Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, my God, dude. And you haven't aged a day. You are the true baby face of this game. Even more baby face than Sothis, who I was an actual baby. You know, it's such a thrill to be able to greet you like this again. Oh, my God, man. <sighs> I'm, actually, I'm actually genuinely, like... I'm super thrilled. I, I thought like he was gonna die in that fucking last fight we we were in. I almost died. I guess well Edelgard. Oh God! Years ago, but I won't allow any enemies to get into this place again. I promise you that. I, oh my God! Even said I almost died. The writers thought about killing me off there, but no. You just can't keep a gatekeeper coon down. Gatekeeper coon. I told you, you're level 99. You're the strongest character in the game. Literally nothing can kill you. Even if the Death Knight shows up, I'll be sure to. Well, for now, I'll keep training. So I can eventually feel confident that I can stop him. Thanks, man. What a thrill! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, good. I'm so glad he's he's fine. Oh, Anna's back. She's got more quests for me. There's unrest everywhere these days. All of my fellow merchants seem to be endangered. I hope things go back to normal soon. People need more to smile about aside from my great deals. Okay. It's the same thing. Okay, I guess I guess I end up losing the last one. I guess. Or I'm just getting it. Yeah, getting it back again. If, is it the exact same one? I think it, I think it is. It's like just the. You get four, right? Oh no, it is a different. How the fuck was I? What? Are you kidding me? The last quest she gave me was one for four of these, but it but it gave me it like the final month before the time skip so how the fuck were you supposed to get in time I, I did all the battles that month too if i'm remembering correctly well no actually no i did do one day of exploring so i guess you had to do it literally every single day and not explore which is fucking stupid fucking stupid you have a good eye, you have a good eye. A demetrius good is like eye. are you making fun of my lack of an eye <laughs> oh wait oh my god guys i wonder if my the plants i planted five years ago are still here oh my god can i still harvest them they're gonna be like fucking trees by this point. I'm just gonna buy. A, I'm gonna buy the the fucking one, shit yes. here, just I in case one, yes. it carries over in a new game I plus or some one, shit, yes. or in case I for some I reason have to go on a massive one. fucking fishing spree, which hopefully doesn't happen. But you never know. God, the teas in this game are fucking expensive though. Jesus. Like seriously, why is this so fucking expensive? Just use for these damn side things this is the reason why i'm not buying like one of each because they're just too damn expensive i don't burn all my money on dumb tea uh i want to start collecting that chronicles of history of Fallen, but i'm having trouble with my hands on anything significant honestly it might be easier to, to excavate an artifact rather than trying to find one for sale search for a remnant that a merchant would be proud of to add to their collection uh okay i get a lot of renown for it too is it somewhere around campus or do i have to go murder some shit hey, hey what's up it's your boy generic night number 43 Cool. What's up, man? I thought you were dead. Thank God I was wrong. Ash, what's going on, man? Is, is to do really gone? He fucking. I don't know, man. He fucking better not be. Actually, actually, no. There's no fucking way to do is dead. There's no way because he has he has some supports with some of the characters that I couldn't unlock at the time, right? Like they were there, like him and and Felix. And they, I couldn't do it. There's no way he's dead. There's fucking no way. 
All right. Otherwise, I would have unlocked all his supports in that first part, right? If he, if he just died off in the second part, they would make no sense. And this is the only time I can actually play, recruit to do and actually use him because I can't do it in other routes. So no, he's, he's got to be alive. I don't know where he is or why Dimitri thinks he's dead. I think he said he got executed in his place. Does that mean he was the one that was ex like supposedly executed by Cornelia? I don't know. Anyway, there's, no, there's no way he's dead. All right, I, now I, I don't believe it. I'm gonna be really pissed if somehow he is dead. I clearly missed something. I'm pretty sure you guys also would have told me if I missed some like insane shit that like, oh, Nick, you missed the optional thing that prevented to do from dying. No, I, <laughs> no way. I you guys never would have let me live that shit down. There's so much more I wanted to say to him. So many supports. He was always so tender with the flowers in the greenhouse. I wonder how they're doing. I'm gonna walk in there. Dudu's already in there. It's like, hey, what's up? Dudu? You know, everybody thinks you're dead, right? Yeah, I know, but... Uh, give me some quality time to spend with my flowers here. And so probably better for everyone to just think I'm dead for a few more days. Then I'll tell them. Actually, it'd be really funny if I'm walking around. I actually found a lost items from five years ago. <laughs> People drop behind. Oh, wow. You found my poppy seed muffin that I was eating that day. We fought Elogard. Yummy. Mmm, and it only has just a little bit of mold on it. The Alliance is such a mess. How are we supposed to know where's safe and where's not? I should probably just move my little sis and grandpa to Garrick Mach. At least I could keep working on becoming a proper knight without having to worry about them. I, uh, I guess he didn't. Once things calm down a bit. Still worked at the restaurant, but never actually became a knight. Aw. I wonder how that happened. How did he not get to that point? Did he not graduate? Did anyone? Well, I guess. Did any of us graduate? No, we, th this place fell before they did. I guess. Hey, I could use a hand. Hello there, fake gatekeeper coon. Recently, pirates have been raiding coastal towns in the Sereng region. People say they're attacking innocent civilians and seeking merchant ships, and so he can do something about it. Uh, head of the Sereng region. Okay, that's gonna be a battle. Some soldiers stationed in Fodland's locket abandoned their posts. They weren't what we call up saying citizens or folks. It would be a real headache if to us if the became bandits to start wreaking havoc to the town. Holsters, uh, blah, blah, blah. okay. More battles. Wait, what about the Mio Gazebo? Yes! Thank god it's still intact. And it's continuing to drop bullshit for me. Including another door key. And some chamomile. This chamomile look, it looks like it's gone a little bad though. And sent I here for five years. Oh well, my dumb students aren't gonna know the difference. Hey, Mercedes. I finally managed to meet up with everyone again, but they're all so gloomy. And everyone just keeps talking about my hair, especially you, Professor. Well, it is weird, Mercedes. You're one to talk, you know. Hey, excuse me. I think we're all past the professor's minty hair looks weird phase, all right? That was like a whole two months ago. Professor, it's been over five years. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. I, I keep forgetting about this time skip thing. I literally slept through the entire shit. Can you believe it? Can you fucking believe it? Hey, I can't. Professor, here to join me for a cup of tea? We could invite the others and the soldiers. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds nice. <laughs> Doesn't it? There probably isn't time to bake any treats, though. Oh, I should invite Dimitri to come along as well. I don't know if he's really in the mood. I don't suppose he'll want to join in. Not really sure where he is either. Dimitri's a, he's a little, he's a little pissy, all right? He's just a little cranky these days, but he'll get over it. Hey, Professor, you won't believe what happened. Dude, why do you look so fucking cool, Casper? <laughs> Seriously, even his haircut actually looks sick. I figured I couldn't go back to the Empire after Garrick Mach fell, so I started drifting across the Kingdom and Alliance. I got the sweet new armor. Yeah, can I trade you? I, I'm still wearing the same getup I was wearing when I fucking fell in the water. This stuff stinks. I need a, I need a bath. Then I just happened to run into our old class, so we came back to the monastery together. Cool, man. Mr. Kitty, what are you doing in the dining hall? <laughs> Oh, the kitty brigade has become all high class and hoity toity. Oh, look at you with your fucking caviar and shit. Mr. Kitty, you need to get over yourself, all right? You know how many kitty soldiers died in the Battle of Garrick Mock? Don't think I didn't see you running, all right? Running away from all the fucking blood shit. You let your fucking fellow kitties die. They died in cold blood because you're a cowardice. That's an excuse and you know it. Look me in the eye. Look me in the eye and tell me that you actually did your best. That their deaths weren't in vain. Is that how a true kitty knight is supposed to die? Felix comes over and joins me. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck, Mr. Kitty? Yeah, see, Felix knows what I'm talking about. God damn it, you made me sick, Mr. Kitty. Make me this sick. Here, eat this fish. That half of five years. And totally isn't poisonous by this point. Eat. 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 I don't want you in the dining hall. You're very gluttonous, Mr. Kitty. Well, there's always like there's always one or two animals here that you can give just like a bajillion things to. 
Oh, wait, there it goes. Oh, look at this guy. This generic dude has been upgraded to uh, whatever the class Felix was at. It's actually a line. What the, what the fuck? Can I not eat here? Oh, no. What, what? Guys, guys, what are you standing in line for? Just, just lay right here. I can see the food. Can I, uh... I can't actually have Dimitri, though, can I? Nope, Dimitri's being a little, little standoffish from everybody. Hey, what's up? I know we were just talking earlier, but you want to hang out? No. Okay, bye. Ain't it? Now that I think about it, His Highness was right. We probably don't have time to waste on cleaning. Oh, uh, goddamn. And I will say, oh, your outfit is going to make it very easy for it to get dirty. Seriously, you have the white gloves and the white dress. You better make sure that you don't get any of all the nasty dust that's built up in this place on it. Maybe I wasn't taking the situation seriously enough. After all, the Imperial Army could be showing up at any time. I was just so happy to see you again. Aww. And everyone else, too. Maybe I got carried away. Not all, Ned. Huh. Cleaning is important. <laughs> I'm happy to see oh, you, too. Really? Oh, you're my little buddy, Annette, honestly. It really is between you and Flay, and I, I still don't really know because I really do like Annette. She's, like, super sweet, and I just love her voice act is so good. I don't know. Someone, like, just hearing her talk is like, ah, tickles my ear my ear holes. I found Earthworm Jim. Good, he's still here. I thought he died in the Battle of Wormkind. I've given up on ever seeing you again. Where have you been hiding? As ah, sleeping. Anyway. Now that we're reunited in the land of the living, I must fulfill my promise. Oh God, you're gonna try to catch the fish? What promise? Right, the promise. That's right. I promised the captain I'd protect you in his stead. And now I'll make good on my word. And now that I know that you're not dead, I can actually make good on that. Yep, thanks, Alois. You've had my back for all these years. Damn right I have. I mean, I've been there, but it was there in spirit. As you slept all the old years away. Uh, the fish seems... Oh, fuck me. I gotta, I gotta fucking catch some shit. Five years in the wake of the storm, and mysterious fish appears and eats up all the other fish in the pond. They call it the big one. That was just a legend. Catch the big one. The mysterious fish is the legend that is said to have appeared in the fishing pond. Holy shit, really? Well, I guess I am going fishing after all. Can I do it whenever? Fishing for the big one. Catch the big one. Said to have appeared in the fishing pond. Let me check the calendar. Make sure it's not like some big one fishing day. Uh, lots of large fish. I suppose that could be it. Oh, I really don't want to go fishing, though. Do some gardening? Oh, my God. My plants are still here, and they are somehow not wilted. I got, like, 80 fucking fruits of life. Sweet. Okay. Uh, let's go and put some more in here, then. Okay, fruit of life, I'm pretty sure, is a, uh, for HP, right? So, who has the least amount? Ash is pretty low. Mercedes is even lower. Bernice is even lower. Where's on level 23? Damn. Just got behind everybody. Now you call it back up, girl. Oh my god, Bernie went back to her room! <laughs> At last, I returned to my domain. My lonely paradise. My realm of exquisite solitude. Oh my god, that's so funny. Even after five years, Bernie, come on, what the heck? Huh? Professor? Is that um is that you? You um you didn't hear that just now, did you? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> hear what? Sorry. Oh, forget you heard anything! Ah, <laughs> uh, so much fun messing with Bernie. <laughs> it's so funny that you go back in there. She missed her little, missed her little teddy bear. What the hell? Get a brigade over here now? Man, what is, this time skip is getting weird. This doesn't make any sense. This continuity is all over the place, all right? You should not be here. You know that. Were these two orange casts? Where have you been, huh? You weren't here before. You shouldn't be here now. All right? If, if the other cats were made, they wouldn't have made these two orange as fuck Garfield cats. God damn. This game doesn't make any sense. My immersion is ruined. Thanks a lot, Kitty Brigade. Thanks for ruining the game for me. Blaine! Professor, I am so glad you were unharmed. I'm so glad that you honestly look exactly the same. <laughs> you have not grown at all. No matter the path you walk, I will be with you every step of the way. Actually, I think it would have been kind of cool if she'd grown up too, but I'm sure there's store reasons for it. Same with Seth. Anything you ask of me, I shall see it through. You saved my life, and I am in your debt. Yeah, that was like five years ago, Flynn. Get over it. Yep, every time I jump around the map, new ones pop up again. Hey, baby cakes. No. <laughs> Fuck no. Well, on the bright side, it looks like if I, if I want, I can just keep, keep spawning in one spot here. Like, pick one spot. 
and then uh, just keep jumping back to it and touching again. Oh, wait. I think I've I think I finally hit them all here. Oh, plans to something else if I talk to her again. Professor, I am so no matter the path you walk, anything you ask of me. Wait. What? Oh, there's someone talking. Oh, next year, I see. The Millennium Festival, the leaders of all territories were supposed to gather together and pledge perpetual peace. But now that hope has been dashed, thanks to the Emperor's actions. The Flame Emperor, the, the Emperor. The Alliance is also divided on the subject of the Empire. So internal conflicts are a regular occurrence. God, now I'm thinking about it. I, I, I hope this game ends with Elgar shooting lightning out of fingers and going, No, 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 you must die! That'd be the best ending that we could possibly hope for. All right, Dimitri's over in the cathedral, apparently. Ah, oh, I see this place. This place is still collapsed pretty good. Hello. Hey, Dimitri. How you doing, buddy? Want to talk to your old pal, Basil? He's got nothing to say. Oh, no. Come on, man. I've seen you forever. Cornerstone Fragment. Fragment still his existence as a monster. Oh, that was what that one guy wanted. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 shit. I actually found a lost item. I did. List of rare items in full line. It belongs to someone with a deep interest in rare things. It's been here for five years. <laughs> oh, my God. Need something. Need something. Oh, hey, I, I got enough for some new shit. Um, all right. Land skills. Uh, Authority. Or bow skills. Yeah, let's go with bow this skills. One? This one. You're all set. Ah, I miss you, man. I miss you and your this one. This one. The best dialogue in all the game. Hello. I have a request concerning that creature. <laughs> I can hardly look at the thing in the state it's in. Do something about it. I see what I can do. I don't think I can. I just leave him alone. I'll see what I can do. Please do. We tracked the boar for five years. I thought he was dead. In the state he's in, he might as well be. He's gotten better at killing people. And in exchange, surrendered what little humanity he had. Oh, I, I will say, I do love hearing Felix actually, like, talk about it. Like, it seems like everybody else needs to ignore except for fucking Felix, you know? He's like, for God's sakes, everybody. We still got the, oh my God, we still got notes. Who's still putting notes in this box, huh? After all these years. What stupid asshole. Somebody better do something about this boy. I just talked to you, Felix. I know. God. Felix, stop riding in the note box. Uh, after the war, we'll have few, far fewer opponents to, opportunities to fight. When the day comes, what should I do? I like keep my sword skills sharp. Start becoming the best in all food. Load. War will always exist. Focus on the war, not the future. Um, war will always exist? Nope. Probably the first one, then. Uh, Catherine? Uh, we've been with that lady Ray for more than five years. Every time the sun rises, I feel more accustomed to her absence. I hate it. I know she's still alive. She must be. We have to assume the worst has happened. Don't worry. We'll find her and rescue her. It's probably good that you've gotten used to it. She sucked anyway. All right. Let's see. Oh, God. I was like running into something. Oh, my God. There's an invisible dude here. It seems that in the last five years, the monks here have left this place for the town below. However, once they learn of our return, perhaps they'll come back. I hope the monastery can return to normal someday. Oh my god, I can go to the third floor. Finally, it only took five years for me to be able to do that. Why the fuck did it take me so long? What is up there anyway? Aside from Cyril, apparently. In Lady Rhea's absence, I will follow you. That's what she would want me to do. Know that wherever you might lead us, I'll continue searching for Lady Rhea. It's like a lot of trouble. That's fine. Good, because I will not budge on that point. Welcome back, Professor. All right, well, we got up on the third floor. Oh, oh, the Archbishop's room. Ah, uh, okay. I guess that's, that's why we couldn't come in here. Cyril's like, oh, it still smells like her. I don't know anything about rebuilding, but I can sure do my best to clean up the mess. I'm going to keep Lady Rhea's room spotless so she can use it right away whenever she gets back. Hey, you just give me an excuse so you can go through a panty drawer, aren't you? Fucking weirdo. Got over here. A little garden? Memorial? What is this? I have no idea. I was Lady Rhea hiding this area all to herself. <laughs> That'd be funny. But this is even a partition here. Behind this partition is like her royal toilet. The executive bathroom. Come on, I need some privacy, all right? I don't want anyone using my royal seat. Ew, you gross, Lady Rhea. Ew, I'm glad you're gone. Five long years I've searched for you and the Archbishop. It is a pleasure to see you again. <laughs> yeah, and a fat lot of good it's did. I ended up finding you guys. The Church of Seros will follow you from now on. But please do not abandon the search for Lady Rhea. We'll do whatever it takes. I don't know what the future will bring. 
Takes to do whatever it takes to find her. Thank you. I know the battles ahead will be dire, but we will support you with all our strength. Thanks, Edith. Thankfully, it appears the records and equipment I need for my research have not been damaged. <laughs> and that chalkboard has not been touched in five years either. So I got that random bit of gibberish. I am most curious, though. You say you were asleep for five whole years. Incredible. Yeah. Perhaps this is another effect of your crest. I do look forward to investigating you in greater detail. We can talk about that. Uh, maybe later. Wonderful talk about it. News. I am most excited to begin. We must find the time, of course. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> My professor, you haven't changed a bit. At your age, I'd expect your whole demeanor to have changed greatly over five years. Though, I suppose I haven't changed either, right? Thank you for noticing, by the way. Yeah, amazingly, you have not, actually. How much makeup you got on? <sighs> Just the two of us, forever young. <laughs> oh, let me have my fun. Don't be a wet blanket, uh, Professor. Oh, I think the room might have opened up over here, too. The top right room. Yup. It finally did. So what got in here? Oh, my God. It's the, where the cow's little voices uh, hang out. Hey, Gilbert. We have given proper burial to the Imperial soldiers killed in the monastery. The ones who were sent to investigate the thieves. Already, rumors spread that they were utterly annihilated. Yikes. So regardless of whether there are spies observing us, the Imperial Army will know of this soon enough. Your Highness, Dimitri, how could you be so reckless? I have a request. Uh, help us secure resources. Gather resources and deliver them. Chickpeas. Uh, okay. Oh, yay, owl feathers. Good. Persuaded by literally everybody. Okay, is this your lost item? Thanks for finding yep. This. So I don't know what point is. It doesn't increase your affinity, I guess. I mean, I guess increase your motivation, but still. Not a really great reason. Oh, good. Thanks. All right. Cool. Not really sure what the, the Gilbert wants. Supply run. Gather the requested resources and deliver them. Chickpeas and airmen. Where do I deliver them? Oh. Oh, am I just supposed to give it to Gilbert? Like, right away? I, think I already have all of it. I guess I don't? Oh, I don't. I, have, I don't have chickpeas. Son of a bitch. How do I get chickpeas? I guess I have to plant them. All right, I've run to everybody now. So I've got a bajillion freaking supports. Set in motion here. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even, I don't even know where to begin with this. Don't even know where to begin with all this. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and start with mine. So we'll go with Felix then. Finally, I notched a win against you. You crushed me. I almost had you. True, it was a narrow victory. When we spar, I feel like I'm revisiting my past. Why? It's like training with my brother. Oh. He always won, always, and died before I could win a single bout. From the first time I held a sword, all I wanted was to surpass him. And that's what drove me to become so strong. Mm. Perhaps it's absurd to say such a thing, but I've spent all these years training for a duel with a corpse. It's not absurd. You found an answer to my question. Yes, I suppose I did. I can never again spar with my brother. Not unless he climbs out of his grave. Still, I continue my endless pursuit of strength. Maybe because I have a new opponent to measure myself against. He's got a lot. He's got some thick creases, kind of like around where his nose and or under his eyes, it seems. He has not slept much. Who? You, obviously. I beat you this time. But when we next cross swords, who knows what might happen? It was a close match, not a crushing victory. I know that I can do better. I will surpass you in strength. And then I'll become stronger still. Yeah, whatever, Felix. You wish, bitch. <laughs> and then, don't count me out yet. <laughs> Just what I was hoping you'd say. Anyway, thank you for helping me find an answer to the question you asked all those years ago. Oh. What, like, why did you get stronger, right? That's cool. Oh, I like that. It even references it. Just as I stuck with them. That's... 
That's nice. Cool. All right. So we're all done with Felix. Um, Ash, what do you guys say, man? Oh, hey, Professor. Uh, hiya, Professor. Here's chipper as ever. Actually, I ran into that thief while I was shopping just now. Oh my God, what? The thief from five years ago? Thief? Maybe you don't remember. It's been quite a while. Yeah. The man who stole the book from that market stall. <laughs> I found him and I murdered his ass. I've been waiting five years since this moment. Jesus Christ, Ash. I saw him on the street with his kid. They were both so grateful. All right, because he actually ended up just buying the book for him, right? It's a really nice feeling. Oh, I'm glad it all worked out. Yeah, but uh, it did seem like they were still having trouble getting by. I guess what you said to me back then was right. My actions didn't really solve the problem. I can't help everyone, no matter how much I try. If I had the money or power, maybe. But I don't. You'll get, you'll get there. No need to rush. You know, a long time ago, Lenato said nearly the same thing to me. I think it was when I tried to look after the horses all on my own. <laughs> I really messed that up. He said, you're not quite ready for this yet. But there's no need to rush. I know I can't help very many people right now. But I think doing what I can for those I see in front of me is still worthwhile. I have to believe that, at least. Hell yeah, my sexy little freckle friend. It's a fine way to look at it. That's just like you, Ash. <laughs> Thanks. That's reassuring to hear. Aww. What about you, Professor? Has anything been troubling you lately? Yeah, a thief you just talked to earlier stole my fucking shampoo! I've been trying to wash this minty green out for the last five years. I'd be happy to help, as long as it's not looking after horses. <laughs> you might not want to trust me with that. Oh, Ash! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing particular has been bothering me, no. Why do I look troubled? I genuinely enjoy helping people. It's a great feeling making someone smile. So if there's anything I can do for you, I want to do it because I care about you. Oh, shit. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> you care about me, huh? That's really kind. <laughs> you care about me, huh? I do. It's probably because you remind me so much of Lenato. <laughs> Is that the only reason? Fester, stop hitting on me. I'm sorry. It's not my fault you turned hot. God. So what'll it be? How can I help? Seriously, you turn from a cinnamon bun to a cinnamon flapjack, son. Oh, yeah. Mm. Just want to pour some maple syrup all over and slap him silly. Uh, just help me a bit a little longer. Or tell me cook. Of course. I'd be glad to cook with you. Oh, that's fucking nice. God damn it. Shit, it's so fucking God. heartwarming. Oh my god, we're getting a lot of heartwarming things, I think. Maybe. So Sylvain's like, you know what, Professor, I think I've learned something. Really? No, nah, no, nah, just kidding. Still gonna fuck everybody. Ugh. That hurts. Ah, Professor. Thanks for stopping by. How's the injury? Got her protecting me. It's not bad. I was even told I'd be cleared for service starting tomorrow. Besides, I got this scar fighting for you. It's almost like a medal or something. Didn't you want to kill me? <laughs> Are you happy you protected me? Yeah, didn't you want to kill me before? I certainly meant it when I said it, but... <laughs> yeah, back then when he was like, you should have been the one to die. <laughs> he said some fucking crazy shit last time. I thought you were going to be killed for real. My reflexes kicked in. I reacted without thinking. It doesn't mean I've stopped being jealous of you. But come on. I can't help but look up to you. If I'd had the guts to run away from home, I wonder if I would have cared as little about my crest as you do yours. You didn't have the courage? No. But if I thought I could have escaped, I would have tried. I'd leave behind House Gautier and the life of a nobleman, and anybody who knew I had a crest. Our home is to the very north of the kingdom. Just across the mountains from us is land inhabited by foreigners to Fodlan. It once belonged to Fargus, but now that the kingdom has collapsed, it's only a matter of time until fighting breaks out. Anyway, that land has been contested for centuries, and all that time, it has fallen to House Gautier to protect it. Actually, our lands of ruin has been doing most of the protecting. Hmm. But it was stolen. I remember five years ago. Those were dangerous times. 
one wrong step and we would have lost our relic to the church. Oh, that's cool. I like they even bring up the, the paralogue that you did. That's sick. My father was afraid that the church would try to keep the lance, so he entrusted it to me. If an emergency arose, I was supposed to be called back home. I guess those very situations are why my family values crests so much. Since I bear a crest, my parents made sure I was never left wanting. My older brother didn't have one, and so when I was born, he was pushed aside. You know, he once shoved me in a well. He left me on the mountainside in the middle of winter, too. Jesus. <laughs> That's horrible. He didn't try to get him back. Even as a little kid, I understood why he was like that. My mere existence stole everything from him. Hmm. I have no right to complain when I am surrounded by people who would give anything to bear a crest, but do not. Now, women smile at me for the same reason my parents adore me, and my brother wanted me dead. And I have to meet them all with a smile and a wink. Because I have a crest. So what you really feel, feel, what you really feel towards, toward women is, you're wrong. So what you really feel toward women is. The women who just want to use me to become nobility? Hatred's probably the right word. Though, in the end, that's just an easy answer. I don't even know how I truly feel about it all. Anyway... It was pretty unreasonable of me to resent you. I'm really sorry about that. And I want to say thank you, Professor. Seriously, thank you. For what? Before I met you, I'd gone my whole life not knowing there was another way for me to live. So, from the bottom of my heart, I'm glad we met. Aww. Damn, these are wrapping up really good. So these had like a lot of build up to them too. It's like, I was like, how could they like wrap it up in like a meaningful way and shit? Like, can they do it? The, the answer is a big yes. <laughs> a big, big fat yes. All right, just to mix things up a bit. Let's do, uh, let's do Felix and Ash. Why, Lenato? Oh, hey, Felix. I suppose your thoughts are still with Lord Lenato. I'm fine. I'm just frustrated by how little I was able to do. I think that they were locked off too. I don't. I, I think they couldn't do this one till now. I know he was trying to protect me, but Lenato never really told me anything. In the end, I don't think I understood his feelings at all. You said it yourself. Be more moderate in your passions. To me, he always seemed like a knight out of a story, and I was so caught up in my ideals. I turned a blind eye to his sadness, his hatred, even when they were right in front of me. I guess I'm pretty far from real knighthood, huh? Perhaps. Yet knowing someone well does not mean you know how they feel, whether family or friend. To know someone's sorrow and turn blindly from it, that is the act of a fool. But pursuing your ideals is not foolish. Hmm. <laughs> But before, you said... I said to be moderate in your passions, not to abandon your ideals. Just like... Just like Felix here, right? He doesn't want people to blindly just follow some rules, right? Some beliefs like, he died a noble death. This is... Because that's the honor of a knight, right? It's the ideals that you take upon yourself, right? That... But by becoming a knight, so you're like... You feel obligated to do that. But not necessarily your own chosen ideals, right? That's what he wants, and that's what he appreciates. So now these ideals that Ash has set for himself, that what he believes is, is right, he respects that. I think that's what he's trying to say. It's okay to be who you are. Yeah. Thank you. Hearing you say that means a lot. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. You lent me this. Oh, oh! The book I lent you. And I'm guessing you hated it? Actually, I already knew the story. My brother used to read it to me all the time. Oh. Must have dug up some old feelings then. I suppose. That's just what I'd expect the knight in the story to say. <laughs> it's not just the way you talk either. It's who you are as a person deep down. Ah, shut up, Ash. Damn, I'm back to hating you again. <laughs> well, I think you're like the squire in the book. He's only half a knight, but he's bold and gregarious. And he always does his best. Don't stop being that half knight, okay? You got it. I'll become the kind of knight only I can be. 
Duh, god damn it. So fucking cute. You two, stop it. Stop being so adorable. All right. Uh, Mercedes and Felix. I, I don't know if they were locked off or not before, but got set up here. Here you are. Oh, were you looking for me, Felix? You were injured in the last battle. Are you okay? I'm fine now. Thank you for your concern. I'm a motherfucking healer, bitch. Don't you know? All I gotta do is heal somebody else and I'm healed. You really are troublesome. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to get in your way out there. I just couldn't help but worry. I was only trying to keep an eye on you. <sighs> what are you even doing on the battlefield? You endangered yourself and got hurt. Such a stupid thing to do. Yes, of course, you're right. I have no excuses. If you intend to carry on being such a fool, you'd best stay near me. Are you sure? I'd hate to get in your way again. You can... Um... Hmm? You can keep thinking of me as your little brother. And that'd be better than going through this again. But I thought you didn't like that. <laughs> didn't you say you were fed up with it? I am fed up with it. I've already spent years filling in for someone who's dead. My older brother inspired love and respect. He was a great knight. He died. Since his death, his memory has followed me around like a shadow. Oh, I didn't know you had a brother too. You didn't! Mercedes, have you not been keeping up? <laughs> I don't let my personal feelings distract me on the battlefield. Still, do I really remind you of him? Well, you don't look like him, but something about you feels so familiar. It just makes me want to protect you. That's not to say that you're incapable or unreliable or anything like that. In fact, it's quite the opposite. You're the one who just came to check on me. You need to pay attention to your surroundings. You're reckless. Lives are at stake, including mine, when I have to run over and save your skin. Yes, I'll try to be more careful. Thank you for being so kind, <laughs> God, you're so fucking full of shit. You, you're horrible in a fight. You can't do shit. All you do is heal people. Thanks, Felix. You're the best. Shut up, bitch. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Stop being nice to me, damn it. I'm Savage Felix! Savage motherfucker Felix! Felix still got, oh my god, Felix still got a lot left though. A lot with people. Not to mention, I got some of these A ranks have doubles too. All right, so you'll see your A rank. Whew, time for a breather. Hey, Professor. You been busy? Yep, noticed you have been too. Seems like it's been a real rough day for just about everybody, huh? I've been so busy, I still haven't eaten. I hope there's still food left. His voice is a bit deeper than it was five years ago. Makes sense. He has some candy. He has some meat. How come you're carrying that around? Whatever. I'm hungry. <laughs> Eat some meat. Mm, mm. When you're hungry enough, just about anything tastes good. <sighs> what a day. <laughs> I imagine just walking around with this big old like fucking leg of meat. Meat on the bone. <laughs> Hey, what's up? I was just walking around with this big old hunk of meat here on the bone meat. Eat it, Cyril. I need a nap, but I still got to get the dining hall cleaned up. Shouldn't push yourself too hard. <laughs> Professor, that's funny. You push yourself harder than anybody else. You make me look lazy. Ah, it's just the god powers talking, you know. Besides, I don't even break a sweat doing this stuff. The day Lady Rhea comes home, I want her to see the monastery the way it was five years ago. That's why I do all this stuff. For her. And the harder I work, the better. Heck, I'd do more than I do now if there were hours in the day. But I can't go without sleep. Tried once. You must think I'm pretty weird, huh, Professor? Uh, more than you know. I'm always on about Lady Rhea, and I'm not even from Fodlan. I bet most people around here think I'm kind of weird. But I'm real grateful for everything Lady Rhea's done for me. So of you to show such gratitude. I don't think it's wrong to live for another. That's nice of you to say. Real nice. Thanks, Professor. It's good to know you like me. Helps me feel even more at home. Whoa, see, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I've heard people say that good folks have a heart of gold. Not real gold, I mean. Just they always care about everybody else. Even guys like me. Lady Ray is incredible. But I figured you're just the same, Professor. 
Okay. I guess I gotta give in and get some sleep. I'll get up extra early to make up for it. Good night, Professor. See you, man. You know what, Cyril? You're all right, man. You're all right. Hell, I've been bringing you into most of the fights lately. You're my wife and rider. Although I suppose I've said it now, but I feel like I've worked so hard on Cyril and he's level 28. I gotta stick with him. Now he's not such a piece of shit anymore. He's actually semi-diesel. All right, flaying and flaying and busily. I gotta see this shit. A rank. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, hello, Professor. How nice to see you. You caught me off guard. I was actually just thinking about you. Why the sigh? Just a moment ago? Well, I... I... I, I am afraid I just do not understand you. When we first met, I sensed something different about you. Something mysterious. And now I am convinced your existence itself is very special. Thinking on it, I know it to be true. You have a crest that should have been lost long ago. You wield the sword of the creator as if it is nothing. Your hair and eye color changed on that day five years ago. Don't remind me. To the same sort of color as mine and my brother's. The fuck does it all mean? Also, it's not quite the same shade of green, I gotta say, but, you know. I do not know. My brother refuses to speak to me of it. Since then, you have led us into battle and... Thus far, we have always come out victorious. Your comrades and colleagues adore you. They believe in you, in your strength. I doubt there is a single soul who is likened to you. Who are you, really? I don't know. I simply do not understand. Me neither, man. Me neither. Whatever the case may be, having hair like mine is proof that there is something exceptional about you. I may as well come forward with things. <gasps> are you gonna tell me how old you are? I'm actually 80 bajillion years old! I knew it. I fucking knew it. I too am unlike others. How so? Surely you recall when I was targeted, specifically for my blood? I may not be special in the ways you are, but my blood is rare. It seems the two of us share a special... differentness. I also believe that we are bound together in some way. Of this, I am certain. Specialist in what way? Elaborate, please. Therefore, I intend to stay by your side and watch over you. Your existence must be preserved at all cost. I would rather protect you. Certainly, those are the words of a hero. Let us unite our powers. Together, we are unstoppable. <laughs> by our green hair powers combined, we are minty fresh. Yeah! Oh, that's cute. Interesting. Her differentness, her blood. Damn it, she didn't elaborate more, though. Ah, I guess this probably means story shit, but god dang it, Flame. I want to know what's going on. I gotta get some more with fucking uh, Seteth, too. It might help me learn more about it, as well as hit his with, with Flame. Mmm. Mmm. Still so much lore to uncover. Uh, okay. Casper and Shamir. Caspar, how have you been? Yeah, so this one, I, I definitely remember this one was locked off at the time, so. Oh, Shamir, I've been normal. Yep, totally normal. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Everything's normal. Then you should try to act like it. If something is bothering you, say it. What, you still think I'm hot? You don't think I didn't already know you had the hot spring before? I, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm disappointed, Kaspar. I thought you were the type to always speak your mind. All right, fine. You got me. Truth is that I heard something about you. I heard you fought in the battle between the Empire and Dagda. Yes. And? And I heard that you maybe lost someone important in that battle. Perhaps. What's your point? No point. Not trying to make a point. I just didn't know you were involved in all that. I was hoping we could be friends, but you fought against the Empire. You obviously have every reason to hate them, so I'm sure you don't want me around. What does my past have to do with you? My father was responsible for a lot of what happened to the Dagdens. Are you responsible for your father's actions? Well, no, but kinda. I know I wasn't there, but I gotta... Bring them back. 
Oh. Huh? If you're responsible, then bring back the lives that were lost. If you can't, then spare me your pity. But... Yesterday's enemy is today's ally. You have to abandon old feuds. Only then can you face me as a friend. <sighs> Dude, Shamir's cool as fuck. Jesus Christ, she's so cool. I'm sure as shit. She's like, you just tell. She's seasoned as hell, right? She sees some shit. She's been through some shit and she's like, she's just learned that, you know what? This shit doesn't matter. That shit just doesn't matter. In the end, she's not going to like, while well, Casper feels that like, oh, she's got to hate me, right? She was like, no, no, I don't. It's nothing to do with you. Wait, well, you're not responsible for his actions. So she's like, just get over it, right? Don't feel, don't feel pity for me because of what your stupid dad did. God damn, man. These characters are so fucking good. The writing in this game is amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> All right, Bernie, let's see what you have to say at A rank. I can't believe how long it's been since I left home. Since I was dragged out of the house, I mean. I know, look at you and your new crazy do. Five whole years. It's weird to think about. Wait, in what way? You want to go back? No. But if you'd asked me that five years ago, I'd have said the opposite. You still ran back to your room, technically. Shut up, Professor! I have friends here, and I have you. The monastery's become a second home to me. Back then, I never would have dreamed a day like this would come. And she, she's quite a bit taller, isn't she, Bernie? I don't think she was looking... She's like looking at me eye to eye right now. Pretty sure before she was she's like a foot shorter. I'm happy for you. It's all thanks to you. You've given me a second chance at life. If not for you, I never would have gotten used to leaving my room, let alone the monastery. Maybe the battlefields just told my senses. I'm much better with strangers and new places now, though. I don't panic nearly as much as before. Could you go somewhere new by yourself? Got some independent work for you then. <laughs> what? Independent? As in alone? That sounds like a tough assignment. Where did this come from all of a sudden? <laughs> hey, hold on. <laughs> I look at my face like, <laughs> I got you. You're teasing me, aren't you? Please don't joke around like that anymore. It's torture for me. All right, all right. I can't commit to that. <laughs> Come on, Professor. I'm begging you. Please promise me you won't do that again. Friends respect each other's feelings, don't they? Okay, I promise. Good. I'll hold you to that. You're absolutely not allowed to send me out anywhere on my own. Got it? <laughs> She's still the same. You would need to come with me. If you're with me, I can go anywhere in the world. Oh, that's so fucking cute. Bernie, if I didn't feel the need to protect you like a little lost puppy, I probably would go out with you. But I, I, again, I still feel like I don't want to break you. I love you too much for that. I'll follow at a distance. I'll be with you in spirit. We can ask another professor. <laughs> I'll follow at a distance. No, that defeats the purpose. You get what I'm saying. I thought we were finally getting close. I guess I'm not good enough for that, though, am I? That wasn't one of the options. I'm sorry. I'll let you have this one, but you better be ready for next time. Oh, she's a bit more confident, though. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, Bernie. You too, Bernie. Dog Bernie. Look, Daddy. Bernie's over here in her tuffet, licking her foot. I'm proud of you too, Bernie. Except stop licking your foot. No, Daddy. All right, Gilberts. Let's do our B rank, man. Dear Goddess, please allow his majesty to rest in peace. Yeah, I think this one was also locked off. Who is it? Oh, Professor. What brings you here at this hour? Heard your voice. I am most sorry for disturbing you. <laughs> you pray very loudly. My chamber is all the way on the other side of campus. I still heard you. The hour is late, Professor. You should be resting in preparation for the day to come. What are you doing? I was offering my prayers to the goddess. It is all that I can do now. I told you I was in service of the royal family, yes? When I was only a young soldier, the king saw fit to make a knight of me. I was given the great honor of guiding and protecting the royal family. Guiding? It was similar to your own work. I was a teacher of sorts. Hmm. I instructed both King Lambert and Prince Dimitri 
in the arts of combat, tactics, and academia. I also did all in my power to keep them safe. Until that day, I was unable to fulfill my duty. I was powerless. You mean, tragic to scare? Yes. When I received word of the attack, it was already too late. His Majesty was dead, along with many knights and soldiers. If only I had made it to Dusker more quickly. It is my fault that His Highness Dimitri has become the way he is now. After that, I abandoned my wife and child and fled my homeland. I turned my back on everything I swore to protect. My sins are countless. I will bear the weight of my guilt for as long as I live. Praying to the gods won't help. Go about this the wrong way. Praying to the gods won't help, man. What else can I do for his majesty and all of those who died that day? Praying won't help you atone. The dead are gone. Can't help them now. Long ago, there was someone who told me something quite similar. Forgive me. This will not do. As I grow older, I find myself talking endlessly about the past. But it is too late for such things now. I have finished my prayers. We should return. Yeah, man. Stop making up for the shit you've done. Instead of running away and being a sh being a fucking dickhead. All right. Interesting. Again, Shamir's, I think, was also locked off, so... But only her B-Ray. Thanks for your help out there. Battles tend to go smoother with you around. Same to you. <laughs> I think you did most of the heavy lifting. It may be unwise to think this way on the battlefield, but I feel I can trust your commands without question. Why's that? Not sure. I might have an idea, but nah, never mind. I've also noticed that you've been putting me in more precarious situations lately. Yeah, it's because your fucking criticals are insane. Almost like you know I won't question your orders. My apologies for that. I know I can rely on you. Huh. I'm glad you trust me to get the job done, but still. I knew you were doing it on purpose. You're in a very important position now that you're leading the charge against the Empire. Funny to think you used to just teach at the Officer's Academy. Your old students still call you Professor. That's no title for the commander of an army. <laughs> still hobbing it. I actually like it. You'll always be their professor, huh? You sure are an interesting one. My people lost the war, and I was left to wander Fodlan alone. But I guess meeting you was my prize. You look confused. Did you not know any of this? I was living in my homeland of Dagda mm. until the Imperial Army destroyed it ten years ago. I don't think she actually said specifically that she was from Dagda. I mean, she mentioned, right, with Casper, right? The, the, she did just mention Dagda there, but she didn't say specifically that that was actually her ho homeland. Although you probably could have put two and two together. But being a mercenary, I have no real allegiance. That's why I'm working here now. Don't worry, though. I don't plan to turn on you. Yeah. <laughs> She makes cool. I like her a lot. All right, Alois, I, I, you might have been blocked off at B. Hello, I'm not sure. Professor. What brings you here? Fancy a bit of fishing? Uh, no, I saw you in, uh... Are you looking for help with something? Ah, no. Your eyes tell a different story. You know, I can hardly go fishing without thinking of old Geralt. He and I would just sit here, casting our lines again and again. <laughs> I'm no better at it now than I was then. Not a single nibble. Maybe you were quieter. You're not cut out for it. Maybe you were quieter. Uh, just like your father. You know all the tricks of the fisherman's trade. I was hopeless at it, but he was a master. In the time it took me to catch one fish, he could fill his basket to the brim. Yeah, that's daddy for you. You know, talking to you, I'm feeling very nostalgic. Why don't you join me? We can trade some stories about the old man. All right, man, but you need to shut up. <laughs> you talk quietly. We spoke before about how Gerald never seemed to age, right? Once, when he was drunk, he let the secret slip. I'm sorry, I was too busy looking at the fishing rods painted onto the background in front of us. He said 
he'd had an infusion of crest-bearing blood, and it had greatly extended his life. Really? Crest can make people live longer. You're kidding, right? You'll live longer? Well, we'd both been drinking. I, I figured he was joking, so I just laughed it off. Then I asked him his age. He said he'd stopped counting after he hit 100. And he was telling the truth. In those 20 years he was away, he didn't age a bit. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Aloise dropping some serious lore here. Holy shit. Whoa. Huh. Why would he do that exactly? Did he know that would happen? An incredible person, to be sure. And I probably don't know the half of it. Actually, I'd, I'd like to ask you something about Gerald, if you don't mind. When Gerald was away from the monastery, what was he like? Bit of a dickhead. He liked to fish. Did nothing but drink. <laughs> In other words, he was exactly the same. When I was his squire, he was always hollering for a drink. He just wouldn't put a cork in it. Oh, God damn, I always, I'm gonna knock you into the pond, all right? But on the battlefield, he was unequaled. That's why people used to call him the Blade Breaker. Uh, I have to say, right now, fishing with you, it really takes me back. I know. Thank God this message box is conveniently high in my arm so we can see I'm not actually holding anything. This feels just like the good old days when Gerald was sitting alongside me. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Immersion ruined. Wow, we're actually getting a lot of, like, love lore about a lot of other characters from Alois, of all people. Aw. He did seem to lo love Gerald, though. So, crest bearing blood, he injected himself. He didn't actually have a crest, right? That's interesting. Why would it do that? It doesn't. I mean, it's just like crest bearing, right? It means anyone with a crest, right? It's like everyone with a crest will live longer, right? Naturally? Would they? I mean, I haven't aged most, but everybody else is aging. Uh, I don't know. Is that how that shit works? Hobbit's never brought that shit up. All right, Casper. I got B rank here. Hey, Professor. Something's been bothering me. Remember that suspicious guy I chased after back when I was a student? A knight scolded me for it, but at the time, I really thought I was doing the right thing. Now that I've had more experience on the battlefield, though. Okay, so this one was definitely locked off until we leveled up. Or five years, I mean. There isn't much time, so I'll keep this brief. The knights encountered a band of brigands while out marching. It was hard fought, but we prevailed. Our soldiers are highly trained, but the enemy was formidable, and we weren't expecting combat. There were a number of casualties among our troops. I pray for the souls. Much appreciated, but there's a reason I need to bring this to your attention. Do you recall the incident five years ago involving a suspicious <laughs> individual in Garrig Mark? Why, what a coincidence, Nice of Sarah. We were literally just talking about that. These brigands all bore the same scorpion tattoo that we found on the arm of that man. Mm. Oh, no. I thought that might be of interest to you. Thank you. Don't mention it. Your timing was perfect. Excuse me, I need to get back to my duties. Thank you, Tin Can Man. <laughs> Heck of a coincidence, right? As soon as I mention that suspicious guy, this happens. Yeah, almost like someone planned it. It's because they had found been dealt with. But some of the knights <laughs> died nothing. in combat. They died because of what I did five years ago. This is my fault. If I'd stayed quiet and tracked the guy down like you said, we would have stopped those brigands sooner. And I wouldn't have blood on my hands. Not necessarily. But he might have harmed the children. But he probably wouldn't have. Now those knights, they're not coming back. We both know it. This is all my fault. It's interesting how, like, despite Casper's rather, like, hot-headed demeanor, right? And he just seems super cocky and overconfident. You actually see he's actually really not. Like, you see that with, with Shamir when he's, like, feeling like, like, oh shit, my dad did this sh did this stuff to her people or whatever. He's doing here when he's like suddenly super self-reflective. Like, I, I made a big mistake and he, he's having a hard time letting it go. It's really, it's really fascinating. All right, we still got a few more, but I think we're well into this episode. I had a feeling this would end up taking a big chunk of time. There's just so many, but guys, I'm loving this game. I'm loving the fuck out of it. It's just so good. The writing's just, it's just too good. It's just too good. Clearly, these people who wrote this game and put this game together 
they just gave way too much of a shit about this game, right? That's the only conclusion I can come to. Damn them. How dare they? How fucking dare they? But I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play as much as I am. Um, if you are, please give a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe for it already. Become Picky Penguin. For this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.